I'm really grateful for my mom's family because they would, they were very good oral historians. So mm-hmm. a lot of history I got from storytelling, a lot of pictures my mom sent me. So I'm extremely, extremely grateful about that. Yeah. I, same with my mother's side of the family, mm-hmm. like we retell these stories over and mm-hmm. over and over again. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I, you know, find myself telling my kids and mm-hmm. it's funny because like, I'll hear them. I'm like, that does sound a little crazy, but whatever. That's what the story is. Like, mm-hmm. that's it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the story started like with my great grandmother. I never met her a day in my life. When I started mm-hmm. my healing journey or when I started my, my spiritual work, she was the man. She still is. She's the head honcho. Like if this was Scarface, she'd sit at the head of the table calling all the shots. And I will be able to call my mom and ask her like, hey, did your grandmama do da 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 She was like, yeah, she did. And then she had a cousin that lived on the farm with my great grandparents who's still alive. So she will be able to call her and be like, hey, did grandma do da 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 She's like, yeah, you know, they did. So that was really helpful mm-hmm. to kind of make me feel safe that what I was feeling mm-hmm. and hearing, it was right. So that kind of, yeah. It's like validation. Yes, yes. Because I was like, what in the world is this? And it made no, absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. But I, it, I felt it so strong. I was like, it has to be right because I feel it right. too strongly. And then usually my mind will be able to validate those feelings for me. So that was always, always helpful and always good.